An economist, David Akegar, said stabilizing the economy is the best solution to the country. Cost of living crisis. He is contributing to the ongoing debate on increasing minimum wage to 200,000 naira following federal subsidy removal. Jimmy Azande sends this report from Makuri. Nigeria's economy is impulse driven, which explains its rising inflation as response to external market forces. Rising cost of living wasn't when government announced for subsidy remover, prompting the organized level to begin agitation for salary increase. This economists say salary increment to workers may provide a short-term solution, but will eventually create more problems for the country. Compared to the proposed 200,000 uh, uh, minimum wage, if that is implemented first, in the in the short run, in the very short run, it will have impact. But if other parameter, economic parameters that affect people's welfare, such as inflation and other important parameters, are not worked upon, you will discover that within a short while, the impact, that is the net impact, will be diminished value. There will be diminished value. That is the real value will be diminished. So it will not amount to any welfare enhancement. The issue of negotiating up to 200,000 as minimum wage now, given the present economic realities, I don't think it is realistic. It is not in the sense that you already have the, the recurring component of the government expenditure rising far above the capital expenditure, which if you want to drive growth, it should be the capital expenditure that should be higher than the, the recurring. So, at the moment, what the government should focus on is to see how they can bring down the prices of commodities in the economy. They urge the government and the organized level to think about creating value for the economy. Because unless we are engaged in production, the value of our Naira will continue to go down. We are operating or we are part of the international market now. So whatever we are putting out there should be something that has value. Presently, Nigeria exports crude oil. No value is added to it. As you can see, we don't, we've lost the refining capacity. So we can't earn in dollars. We need to start earning in dollars for this particular kind of inflation to go down. So we may put uh, 200,000, 300,000, but if we're dealing with the international community and uh, the, the value of our currency is low, you, as you can see what is happening with fuel prices going up and coming down. So what happens if you increase it to 200,000 and we now have to buy a dollar at a thousand naira or more? They argue that some states have failed to implement 30,000 naira minimum wage, wondering what will happen if the label suggestion of 200,000 naira minimum wage is approved. Jimmy Azandi, Trust TV News, Makodi. Traders at Fatima Baker Central Market in Kasana are not happy with the conduct of some internally displaced persons who occupy shop premises. The traders say the IDPs, mostly women and children, are becoming noisance to them, especially at night. Abdullahi Ahmadi completes the report. Though no IDP camp was created for the internally displaced persons in Kasana State, women, mostly from Basari, Safana and Gangara local government areas running from the ravaging banditry in their localities called this place their home. They are solely depending on begging at the central market to survive. They usually pass the night at this market and in the process constitute nuisance to shop owners. It is not our wish to leave our homes for the sake of coming to the city and be begging. No, it is out of necessity. Most of us have many dependents. Our husbands and parents have been killed by bandits. What else do you expect us to do? We are victims of banditry and have nobody to depend on except God. That is why you see us hanging around this central market. We beg for arms to survive and we sleep here at night as a last resort. Traders say the IDPs often defecate openly, a situation they say is unacceptable and unhygienic. This elderly woman, though not an IDP, is from Dankaba village area of Kaita local government. She is sick and has been here for about eight months without medication. 
As you can observe, I am sick and down with malaria for long, with no one to take care of me here. I am old and seriously weak. Someone bought some drugs for me the other time, but my challenge now is what to eat. Mother. Kazuna residents are appealing to the relevant authorities to assist these vulnerable people at least to save the society from another calamity. Abdullahi Ismail Amadi, Trust Television News, Kazuna.